hello my lovely viewers uh hope you're well uh welcome back to my channel uh um like i promised uh that i'll be doing uh, a, a few videos about my trip to scotland i don't know if you've been able to watch my first my first um video which was uploaded two days ago about our trip to scotland so today i'll be sharing what we did on day two of our stay in edinburgh so on day two we decided to go to to the beaches the children really wanted to go to the beach and so we went to uh gallon beach and so which is one of the most popular ones in, in edinburgh in fact edinburgh is so blessed it's got a lot of beaches as around it actually uh it's just like one long sea uh it's like in every area there's a beach every area we passed there was a beach but uh, because we had you know the people that live there they decided to take us to the best one that they've been to and they recommended that one so we, we passed the other four we pass i think yeah we pass four beaches that was the either the fourth or the fifth one to go to and it was next to the next one would have been north berwick so we didn't go to that one and so we we went to the galland beach but what i would recommend guys that um if you plan to go to uh, edinburgh you can book uh if you especially if you want to be near the beach they have got a lot of caravans there just just opposite all the beaches and they are so beautiful they've got beautiful beautiful holiday homes guys to stay in uh you can actually watch the view from your window you can watch the view from your balcony you can just cross the road and just wait the moment you cross the road you're actually at the beach so it doesn't take you long to be there you don't even have to go there unless you want to go you know and have a dip in in the in the sea then you can actually go by you can see all the activities and and just enjoy from you know within your your window um and so i would recommend if you want to stay around there you can do that uh if you want to stay in town in edinburgh there's a bus which was i think number 26 uh it won't bring you to the gallant beach but it will bring you to the first three or the first four uh closer to there i think that's where it terminates uh, another thing i would recommend is um especially if you are going to go and you're coming from very far you're not able to drive there they do have two buses but those buses wouldn't be able to take you to like to the or the the beaches i guess and and i think they have limited they have you know they have their specific uh roads that they follow so we didn't go on the on the on the uh tour bus because we we had our 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 own car so we we're just driving anywhere we wanted if we went somewhere in fact there's nowhere that we went and and said no we don't want to stay here for long everywhere we went we just loved it and so we 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 could see a lot of places within hours because uh, we were able the transport was really easy for us but yeah there's two buses another thing in my next videos i'll be i'll be sharing uh the the best hotels you know the locations i'll be sharing the um yeah most popular places that you can go really 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 good and that will make you really enjoy your stay in edinburgh and so yeah there are a lot of historical places that you will see really historical places and they are just not historical they are so beautiful nice views over there so stay tuned guys i really really would love you to to subscribe and press the bell so that you don't miss out on, on this so the next ones i'll be the next uh, on day three i'll be um showing you what we did on day three we, we went to to the to the edinburgh castle we went to the uh, dynamic center we went to holy road to the whole road which has the parliament it has the um queen's palace it has the arthur's seat which is a hill there's a lot of things that you can actually see especially that holy road uh if you want to stay there i'll be recommending places that you can stay and that you don't even need to drive because you can actually walk 
you can actually walk in all those places they are all they are all together especially whole road where the parliament is the scottish parliament and i'll be telling you all the things guys so stay tuned i'm going to put the activities that happened on our day too so guys watch and listen and enjoy thank you so much hello guys welcome to my summer vlogs today we're on our second day in scotland edinburgh and so stay with us we are going to the beach and we'll be showing you um you know places that you can visit when you come to scotland and it's really a nice place um it's very cool it's nice and, and so guys um we've had a very long drive to uh this beach uh i think we drove for about um three four miles uh but the water actually starts from where we came from but you have uh, they've designed the road that you have to go along the sea and so they actually say that this is the arm of the red sea so for the north sea so it comes from the north sea and this place is called the gallant beaches so we're just parking and then we're gonna enjoy the day i've passed through really a very good um uh historical places but it was so hard to take some videos so i guess i'll be getting pictures for later on and then i'll be uh telling you exactly and there's a place also where princess anne stays when she comes to scotland uh, we i was we wasn't able to uh, get like a picture of the but I will, uh, I will try and see. But this is a very nice place. And today there's a lot of people actually. And the waters are nice and blue. So yeah, I will um, take uh, whatever I can manage to take to show you guys. But yeah, stay with us. <laughs> 